Hey beautifuls, welcome back to my channel where we celebrate the natural beauty of black women's hair and empower each other on our unique journeys. So today I will be recapping this past weekend's 2023 natural hair industry convention that was held in Hanover, Maryland, co-created by a licensed cosmetologist named Susan L. Perkins. And the keynote speaker this year was Dr. Ayanla Van Zandt. I am going to be presenting this in vlog form, so here we go. Yeah, how much to the... Um so the fare from the airport to my hotel, which was the town place in and suites in Arundo Mills was 20 bucks exactly. And this was my hotel room. It was absolutely beautiful. The sofa turned into a bed as well, which my son was able to sleep on once he arrived the next day. Everything was clean and neat. They had a pretty decent breakfast and plenty of amenities within the room, iron, ironing board, fluffy towels. I'm a sucker for nice towels. Okay, so I am in Maryland. I'm in like the bougie part of Baltimore. Baltimore is about an hour away. But I just wanted to share what I've seen walking to Walmart. I left my charger in Texas and had to go to Walmart to get another one. And on my way walking, it was probably about a mile and a half walk. But on my way to the Walmart, like, I see so many people. Everybody has lots. I'm like, damn. And the friendliness. Like, people actually speak here. Like, they speak. And it's really cool. I'm in Walmart minding my business. And this older brother comes up to me. He's probably in his mid-70s. And he says, good morning. You know, we have a quick little cordial, cordial conversation. And he reaches in his pockets and hands me five $2 bills. I tried to decline accepting them, but he was like, no. He was like, you just, you give off such a beautiful aura. I want you to have this. Man, I meet angels all the time. Like, this was really cool. Like, I just walk into this Walmart, seeing how many black people here have locks, how friendly they are. You know, I'm asking certain questions. People are like cool with responding. I haven't got no attitudes. Like, it's just really dope. I like I like Maryland so far. Now, again, I haven't been to Baltimore. I might take a train there uh, tomorrow or Sunday, but so far so good. I don't know what the food is like. I'm gonna try to get something to eat, but yeah, Baltimore is cool. I mean, I'm in Arundel Meals. So once I leave Walmart, um, I walked maybe half a block up the street to the live casino and then into the mall where I found this natural handmade dessert spot. Delicious, delicious snacks. Had to pick up a couple, one for me, one for my son. So once I get my snack, I'm walking around the mall and see this barbershop called No Grease. Then I find a spot to have my banana cream Komomari snack. I forgot the name of the place, but it was really good. All organic, natural ingredients. It was delicious. As I continued to walk, I ran into one of my favorite stores, Earthbound, groovy clothes, and lots of metaphysical toys in there. Okay, day two for me, day one for the natural hair industry convention. I'm on my way there early. I arrived at 8.30. It didn't start until 10.30, so I could just kind of get a feel of the location the hotel was absolutely beautiful i had to kick myself 10 times for not securing a room at the hotel when they had the rooms blocked off i waited too late and ended up staying at the town place suites which was nice but this was like yeah beyond nice this was absolutely beautiful the entire atmosphere you see the fireplace going um when i walked in the sisters from the natural hair industry were there letting people know where to go, which it was being held on the second floor. And um, yeah, this is what the hotel looked like.
So like I said, I arrived a couple hours early. The vendors were still setting up. I went on and checked in, registered. I was given a dope goodie bag. Didn't know what was in the bag until later that day, which I'll share with you guys exactly what was in it. This is the room where the presenters and all of the classes were held. Nice size. And of course, Dr. Iyanla was the keynote speaker. All I can say, you guys, is this was life-changing, meeting her in person, so down to earth, so humble. Wanting us to receive as opposed to do. Making sure that we were aware of the This is the Q&A portion of her presentation. I want to add that her daughter recently passed away and she still okay. made time to come. So, let's take a breath. Somebody tell me something you know now that you didn't know. Come on, talk to me. It's already done. And it is unfolding. Is enjoying yourself. Wasn't she powerful? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was in tears all the time. Same. I heard you speak as well. I was like, okay. And to my surprise, my colleague Iyat, who is also a natural hairstylist in Dallas, attended the event. She's such a huge supporter, and I support her as well. And then I stayed for the next presentation, which was teaching young girls how to love their natural hair. I'm all for it. Y'all know I love the kids. Now this sister lost and a lot of weight um, and her and presentation this, was teaching us how to eat better, how to get our bodies moving. So um, at, I think she said 58, she was on that picture and she ended up being a whole bodybuilder like in her 50s. So yeah, let's get it in, no excuses. And it was my turn for my presentation, which was titled, How to Fall in Love with Your Natural Hair. I came up with that title because a lot of what traction alopecia comes from is people who do not have a relationship with their hair. They look at their hair as just being expendable or to be used as just an anchor to put fake hair on top of. So if you have traction alopecia, it's important that you empower yourself to know the different types and that traction alopecia, if that's what you have, is preventable. Don't put yourself in the same category as women with cancer and autoimmune diseases, okay? You can do something about yours. Had to take the bathroom selfie. And then after the event was over, we looked for some food in the casino. There were plenty of restaurants. My son wanted to have some seafood, so we settled at this place called 
crusty crab, I think. <laughs> like SpongeBob. Anyway, the food was good. Um, I'm not much of a seafood eater, so I'm eating on a boiled egg. If y'all know how these seafood places are, the sauce is what makes it, and the sauce was delicious. I wish they would have had ramen, because usually when I go to those types of places, I don't eat any meat. I just get ramen and the sauce, and it's always hidden. Then we make it back to the room. I finally get a chance to go through my goodie bag and was happily surprised to see nothing but Pattern Beauty products by Tracy Ellis Ross. I've never, I think I've used it one time and it's because a client brought them. So I'm looking forward to using it on clients this week. And if you guys want me to do a product review on them, let me know. Finally, back in the home of Dallas, Texas. I had a great right, time. So that wraps up my time that I spent in the Baltimore Hanover area. I highly encourage you if you are a hairstylist and you want to take classes, you want to network with other people in the natural hair industry that you attend next year, make sure you follow their website, follow them on Instagram and on Facebook. I will put the links for you to follow them in the description so that you can keep up with the dates and whatnot and plan and prepare. This was my second one that I attended. The first one was in 2018 and it was in Atlanta, Georgia. So this one being on the East Coast was really, it was really cool. I had a great time, had a great experience. It was cool networking, meeting new people um, and just sharing the like-mindedness. And, but the highlight for me, no doubt was meeting Susan Perkins for the first time face to face, although we had met um, during a live on Instagram, but meeting her face to face for the first time, and then being able to see Ayala Van Zandt uh, in person. I actually, um, she had kind of like a Q&A portion of the presentation, and I stood up and thanked her for her contribution to my healing when I read her book back in 2006 called in, in the Meantime. So just being able to share that with her, I am never gonna forget that. And um, she's been a mentor for me for a long time, you know, of course, unknowingly on her end. And especially after my mom transitioned, just Ayala Van Zandt is the true embodiment, in my opinion, of a yeah, yeah. She just has that motherly, that realness like that she's gonna bring you back to yourself no matter what you're seeking outside and even with her right because plenty of us were plenty of people in the crowd were asking her questions like what should i do and she's like why are you asking me i, I have no idea what you should do why aren't you praying on it why aren't you asking god to, to guide your steps i mean she's gonna bring you back to you and i think that that is one of the most empowering things that anyone can do. It is definitely what I intend and hopefully that is the way that anyone watching my channel receives it is to empower you. If you want to embrace your natural hair, if you want to reject the European beauty standard that is damn near forced upon us, okay, then you can do it. So thank you so much for your likes, for your subscriptions. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. So again, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, any questions, I'll drop them down there. I'll always respond. Peace and I'll see you in the next one.